history exams last week. No, they're not. They were this week. What am I saying? Um, and I ran out of time on both of them because I'm writing and then I get to a point and I can't think of a word. And I spend five minutes trying to think of this word and then I realise that I need to get writing. So I carry on. I've lost five minutes. Happens every time. So it didn't go too well. And of course, Sod's Law. As soon as I came out of the exam hall, I thought of another ten things I could have wrote in the exam. Plus the fact that in my Nazi Germany one, I had touchy touchy touch me from the Rocky Horror Picture Show in my head. It was going on a loop throughout the entire exam and it was driving me crazy. Anyway, enough of my sad life. Um, sorry, I don't really know what to say. Um, somebody sent me an email requesting a video, which is weird, I've never had a request before. Um, and they wanted me, I can't remember who it was, I'm really sorry. They wanted me to talk about myself. Which is um, weird. Not many people want to know about me. <laughs> There's not really much to know, to be honest. I'm not very interesting. But nevertheless, I will um, tell you. <laughs> um, I'll make a video soon. Um, so yeah, I just wanted to say thank you, really. And. checking my emails. It's come to a point where I'm literally, I check my emails every, every half hour. I really do when it's really sad. So, and um, I really look forward when I, when I see that someone's commented on my video or someone, I've got a new subscriber. Makes me really happy. Um, because I am going through a really rough time now. Well, it's not as bad as all that, it's just... Um, I've been going a bit funny. Like, I've just been telling you about not being able to write. Like, it's really weird. I can't, I'm in the middle of writing, then suddenly I freeze. And I literally cannot write anything, because I just can't think. There's so much going on in my head, and I just can't think. I can't get my head straight. I had a geography mock exam and there's only six people in my class and we were all, they were all writing and I couldn't think of anything to write and in an hour and a half I wrote one page whereas most of the other people wrote about three pages. I ran out of the room before my teacher realised I'd not handed it in and I'm just really messed up at the moment. But anyway, like you want to know about that. Well, it's a bit like now, I've already told you. I was playing my flute earlier. I was going to record a video of me playing the flute, but I had not played it for a while, and um, it didn't sound very good. Um, uh, I've... There's um, probably... I don't know if there's any flute players out there, but... Um, one problem is my breathing when I um, tongue notes or when I just play a note it's too breathy like you, you can hear me breathing the note really annoying me I can't get my um, tongue right and the second one is when I'm playing a note such as F or, or E using both hands you can hear the keys going down at different times. I can't, I just can't make the keys go down at the same time because all my, my fingers are weird. So, um, 
shows what I have listened to most, the songs with the most plays. Would you like to know what my top songs are? This, this is really, I'll say, um, geeky, but it's not, well, you'll see anyway, right? In all of my 876 songs that I have on iTunes, the, with 117 plays is Wandering Whispers Sleep Relaxation. That is my most played item on iTunes. And it is so relaxing, I used to fall asleep to it every night. The second one is Forbidden Friendship from How to Train Your Dragon, which is an absolutely beautiful score. It is my favourite film score. I absolutely adore it, and Forbidden Friendship is so beautiful. The third one is A Book's Life Suite, obviously from A Book's Life. The fourth one is Test Drive, also from How to Train Your Dragon. The fifth one is Another Wandering Whisper, and it's The Wisdom of Pandas. And then uh, my first proper song is So Much Better from the musical Legally Blonde. So that's just how sad I am. It's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. California Girls by Katy Perry. That is the first proper, proper song, if you get my meaning. Like, a chart song. Tenth place. California Girls, I've played that 48 times. But I'm proud of that. I love listening to film scores. My friend, she studies music, and she introduced me to most of them. Like, how to Train Your Dragon. I didn't see the film list when it came out in the cinema. I wasn't that bothered about it. I thought it was just another, another boring thing. But um, no, um, actually, I I heard the score before I saw the film, and I was really impressed. And now I fall in love with it. It's one of my favorite films. Um, some of the scores I really, really love are the Edward Cezanne score. It's so beautiful. I've played that 25 times since I downloaded it a few weeks ago. I don't know whether there's any Doctor Who fans out there too. I mean, I've just watched Doctor Who today, Saturday. I've just watched the one with all the, the faces, the melted acid faces. It was quite freaky. The Doctor looked a bit like Voldemort, I thought, at the end. But no, um, I do like Doctor Who scores as well. Um, so if you're a Doctor Who fan, I'd definitely check it out. Um, I'd have to say my favourite... My favourite score from the Doctor Who score is either I Am The Doctor Someone's gone wibbly. That was cute. And I've just realised that every time I make a whisper video talking about myself, I just get cooler and cooler every time. I mean, look at me, I listen to film scores, I watch films, I do nothing but study. You want to know something that's going to ruin my reputation even more? I have never, I'm 18, and I've never. I've never been drunk. I've never drank more than... Well, I went to a Christmas party. At Christmas, obviously. And I had a pint of Stella. A, a pint of Stella. And it took me two hours to drink it. So it is biologically impossible for me to get drunk anyway. If I had a drink, it would just take me ages to drink it. <laughs> I've never been to a concert either. Although I am going to the Leeds Festival and I'm looking forward to it a lot. I can't wait. So if anybody is going to Leeds Festival, then let me know. <laughs> It'd be cool if we saw each other. 
Okay, it's now three minutes past eleven at night. And my back is killing me because I'm sat in a really awkward position against my wall. I'm falling asleep because the room is pitch black apart from my computer screen. And I'm probably talking to myself. Well, I am talking to myself. I mean, there's probably not many people still listening at this point. So I'll sign off. Plus my thumb has gone numb because for holding up my iPod to my mouth. And I'm sure I just saw something move in the corner of my eye. Oh, I hate that. That happened yesterday. 